patients and their needs are at the center of the Mayo Clinic's approach to medicine, which is exemplified by the clinic's model of care. Joining us today for an insightful discussion on this topic and more is Dr. Brian Costello. Dr. Brian, it is a pleasure to have you with us today. Can you tell us more about yourself? Hello to our friends and colleagues at Arab Health. I'm Dr. Brian Costello, a medical oncologist consultant at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota in the United States. It's good to be with you today. I specialize in genital urinary cancers, and we will be talking about some new updates and exciting things going on, not only at Mayo Clinic, but in oncology in general. The Mayo Clinic is synonymous with excellence and renowned for it in the healthcare community. Can you tell us more about its model of care? The Mayo Clinic model of care speaks to an integrated medical practice where the center of everything we do is the patient and the needs of the patient. This requires an integrated team approach, communication with both patients and colleagues so that we bring the best to bear for patients and their family members when we're doing evaluations, treatment, and care at Mayo Clinic. What is the Mayo Clinic's approach to multidisciplinary care for serious and complex diseases? The Mayo Clinic approach for serious and complex medical conditions is really teamwork and communication. We specialize in being able to evaluate and treat complex conditions through multidisciplinary care and through teamwork. One of the real central pieces of what we do at Mayo Clinic is very simple, but it's very powerful. And that's speaking to each other. Different teams, different specialists talk to each other and share ideas and put our heads together about complex conditions so that we can bring the best care to the patients we are seeing and do the best evaluation that we can. What type of expertise does the Mayo Clinic and do you personally have in rare cancers? We have broad ranging expertise in rare cancers and complex medical conditions. In malignancies that are more uncommon, it really does take a team approach, including behind the scenes physicians like radiologists and pathologists. But we also collaborate with all of our clinical teams, including radiation oncology, medical oncology, and surgical specialties. For example, we have lots of expertise in uncommon cancers such as sarcomas and GYN malignancies, among others. Even in more common tumor types, there are rare cancers. For example, in my practice in genital urinary cancer, I specialize in testicular cancers, which is an uncommon disease in general, but the most common solid tumor in young men. So for example, it's really important to get it right in terms of the diagnosis and treatment for young men with testicular cancer because they will have a long, fruitful life after appropriate therapy. And lastly, what are the new developments on the horizon in cancer care? There are a lot of exciting developments in cancer care. A few things to highlight would be the advent of immunotherapy, which really has come on the scene in solid tumor oncology in the last several years. So one thing we will see in the future is more expanded use of immunotherapy and combining immunotherapeutic agents with novel therapeutics and new drugs. Another area that I think we're going to see more of is integrated practice for cancers. Meaning, if we look at breast cancer or stage three colon cancer, those diseases have always been multidisciplinary types of malignancies requiring different specialists. We haven't always had that paradigm in other malignancies, but what we're seeing is that more and more a variety of specialties are getting involved in different tumor types earlier in the disease for high risk disease. And even when disease spreads or becomes metastatic, 
that's evolving into a multidisciplinary type of situation. And I think we'll see more of that in the years to come. The other thing that's been talked about a lot is CAR T therapy. CAR T therapy is chimeric antigen receptor T cell therapy, which uses the patient's T cells. So they're drawn off by apheresis. And then they're sent to a laboratory and altered in a way that helps to target their particular malignancy. Those T cells are then reinfused back to the patient so that there's a more specific targeted type of treatment. This is a very exciting area. We've seen approvals for CAR T therapy mainly in hematologic malignancies, including ALL and multiple myeloma and some lymphomas. We do not yet have CAR T therapy available uh, as standard practice in solid tumors, but there are clinical trials going on. So CAR T therapy is really a very exciting wave of the future and one that will play more and more of a role in cancer care in the future. Well, thank you so much again, Dr. Brian, for sharing these wonderful insights with us. Thank you so much. It's been a delight to visit with you today. I wish our colleagues at Arab Health all the best, and most importantly, a happy and healthy 2023.